Sit. Sit. Come here. Okay. I'll go ahead and uh, Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Hi, everybody jumping on. Can you see this? Is it clear? I don't want to speak unless you can actually see it. Anybody there? Yes, it's clear. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys. Okay, so this gorgeous, gorgeous boy was brought in to us this morning. A woman found him roaming the streets um, by a warehouse district here in Broward County in the Fort Lauderdale area. Um, her other option was to bring him to the shelter and we did not want him to go to the shelter. So we brought him here. We scanned him for a microchip with two different microchip scanners. He does not have a chip. Uh, he was wearing a collar, but there was no tags. Um, he is not neutered. He's a little on the thin side, but that could be just because he's been running the streets, trying to get home for a week or two weeks. Come here, look, sit. Sit. Come here, don't make a liar out of me. You did it before. Handsome. Sit. Sit. Hey. Sit. Come on. Do it. Sit. Okay, now you're on live and you're going to make a liar out of me. Because he sits. Sit down. Good boy. Paw. Good boy. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Somebody obviously invested some time into this dog because he sits, he gives paw, he lays down all on command. He is a gorgeous white lab, not neutered, seems to be fairly young still by the look of his teeth. Not a lot of tartar. Maybe a couple years old. Um, we're putting this out there for everybody to share in the hopes of finding his home because he's clearly looking for someone. When he sees a door, he wants to go out. He's whining. He's missing somebody. Um, and like I said, we don't normally take in dogs that have got training where they sit, give paw, lay down, all on command. So obviously somebody invested some time into this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous boy. And we would love nothing more than to find his home. Come here, handsome. Come here. Come here. Come on. Who's a good boy? You can come up here and sit. Sit. Good boy. Hi, gorgeous. Paw. Give me the paw. Give me the paw. You're going to balance on the smallest part? Yay. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, his ribs are showing. I said he's thin, but he is not emaciated. We've taken in some seriously, seriously emaciated dogs. He could get this thin without eating for a week or two weeks if he's been on the streets trying to find his home. Hi. Hey, gorgeous. I gave him some food. He did eat a little bit. Hi. He wouldn't eat when uh, he first came in. So we have named him Melvin for now. So we have something to call him while he is here. 
We have posted him on the Lost Dogs of Broward County um, Facebook page. We have also reported him to Broward um, Animal Care and Control in case anybody uh, reported their dog lost to them. So we're just asking for you guys to please share this in hopes of finding his home and hopefully it's a good home and not um, one that kicked him out into the streets. He is very sweet. He is very affectionate. Hi, gorgeous. I know. I know. You're missing somebody. Okay. You're too big to lay on my lap on this chair, bud. <laughs> You're too big to do that. Clearly, if we were on the couch, he would be on my lap. You see, he's whining at the doors. Labrador Retriever Rescue of South Florida, thank you. In case anybody came to you guys looking. Hi, gorgeous. So, like I said, we named him Melvin for now so that he has a name. We are going to take very, very good care of him. We're going to make sure he eats. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. But if you can please share everywhere you can to possibly find an owner. For this gorgeous boy, he seems like he wants to go home. If sadly we cannot find an owner or nobody comes forward, then eventually he will be up for adoption. He will be neutered because he's marking everywhere. Um, and we will do the usual, all the blood work, the microchip, heartworm test to make sure he's heartworm negative. Um, and... Um, He'll be up for adoption, but right now we are trying to find his owner. So please share this video. If you have any information at all, please send us an email at 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com if you know who this dog belongs to, or you can call us 888 506 8100. The newly named Melvin looking for his family, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Isn't that gorgeous. You wanna come up? You wanna come up? Come here. Good boy, sit. I know, you, you just wanna jump up, don't you? You just wanna jump up. You wanna be close. Handsome. Handsome boy. Yes, you are. You're handsome. Beth, we always, we're always worried that maybe they should not go back to where they came from. Um, but, I don't know. With him, he's fairly, fairly clean. Um, he is thin, but somebody obviously put some effort in him to teach him sit and paw and down. Um, so we're hoping for the best. We're hoping for the best. And he's very sweet and very affectionate. Come here, come here. Yes, he's thin. I know. There's lots of smells for you to mark out here, huh, big boy? Ah, oh, gorgeous. You gonna hop up there and look out? You only had a 
couple bites, but he seems like he's just looking for somebody. We're praying that that somebody is worthy of him because he's gorgeous, he's affectionate, he's sweet, he's smart. Um, but we have to put it out there because somebody might be missing him terribly. So once again, if you know who this dog is, where he belongs, who his owners are, or any information, please call us, 888-506-8100, or email us at 100plusabandonedogs at gmail.com. We have named him Melvin. For now, we are looking for his owner. If an owner cannot be found or does not come forward, after a period of time, he will be available for adoption. 100 plus abandoned dogs. He gets up slowly like teasing. He looks like... No, he's not in pain. Calling. I've completely looked him over. Touched everything, his paws, his feet, pet his ribs. Oh, you want belly rubs? He's just a bigger dog, so sometimes they don't jump up quite as fast. He is gorgeous. Great, bud. He's absolutely stunning. <laughs> What? You want more belly rubs? <laughs> Do you want more belly rubs? Yes? Unfortunately, he has no chip and his collar had no tags on it, so there's no way of us knowing where he came from. So that's why we need all of you to hit the share button, please. And maybe we can have a good reunion. All right, buddy. Once again, you can email 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com or give us a call if you have any information at all of who this dog is, who his owners are, where he came from. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida with the newly named Melvin, searching for his owners.